Coach Owen, year two here at Bloomsburg. Mm -hmm. Okay, coming from the Naval Academy, where they have you know the most gigantic, exquisite room. Yeah. Every guy is at Navy's on a full ride, basically, yeah. basically because well they're earning it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not on a full ride because you know you're because you're the best and the brightest yeah. in the country and a future leader. But talk about going from working with that type of kid and athlete, mm -hmm. you know, a kid that's gonna he's the smartest kid in his class and will stay after and do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Talk about going from there to coming here to Bloomsburg where you don't maybe have the resources, okay, you're not a fully funded program. Is this place a tough sell? It can be. I mean, I think John, you know, when I came here, John had some good guys. You know, John's, you know, the year I came here, he had an All-American Matt Moley. The fact of the matter is, is Pen Pennsylvania is such a deep state. Even when you're getting those guys that aren't state champs and you can get those guys and make a living off the thirds, the seconds, the fours. Those guys are still winning multiple state titles in a lot of other states. Um, so I, I don't know if it's a, a, a real hard sell. I mean, we're in a great area, um, great school. Academics are good. Um, campus is beautiful. Obviously, we're, uh, facility renovations is going up. But, you know, getting a guy that's not going to choose Penn State, he's not going to go to Clarion, Lock Haven, Edinburgh, um, it can be tough, and I think John and I are such devoted coaches, and we, we want so much for our guys to, to win. I think that really shows through to our recruits and our athletes. Um, we're there for them. Um, we're going to bend over backward. We're going to train them hard. Uh, if they really want to be a national champ and an All-American, and those are their ultimate goals, you know, this is the place to come. I mean, we love it. We live it. Um, you, know, you got to, to have those kind of those kind of aspirations. And I think that really shows through to our guys. And you know, with everything that's going on with the facilities and everything else, it's a, it's a easier sell. But yeah, you're right, we're not fully funded. Um, guys have to make sacrifices, and I think guys understand that you have to sacrifice to be part of a, of a team that's going to gel and, and ultimately get into the top 15 and top 10. Okay, you guys push hard. I'm always talking to, to John about it. I'm like, you're, you're crazy. You're a madman. And I tell him, and he's like, oh, yeah, no, and he's so charismatic and everything. But, you know, you push hard, too. Yeah. Do you guys feel like you're ever pushing too hard? Well, I mean, John is passionate, and I'm passionate as, as well. I mean, i got to kind of balance him out a little bit. So John's pushing, and I back it off a little and, and approach things in a different way. It's the same thing, though. I'm still, you know, we still, we want these guys to train hard. And, again, I think that's both of our philosophies is that the way you win is through training hard and really setting a hard pace when you're wrestling a guy. So we do we do train these guys hard, but again, our mindset is we want these guys to be all Americans and national champs, and that's how you do it. I mean, you train hard. You don't go out on the weekends and screw around. Uh, you don't come in practice and dilly dally around. You you got to live it. You know, if you want to be an all American and national champ, there's very few guys that can slide by, um, take weekends off, take practices off, and, and be able to do it. You know, those those guys are few and far between. The way you win is hard work, um, and just a real set, mind-driven, you just, I want to be a national champ. And that's the way we equate to our guys. Do you think that will scare any guys off? If it does, then those guys aren't for us anyway. You know, I think that's, I mean, that may be a cut-and-dry way of thinking. You know, if that's going to scare somebody off, then we probably not don't want them. I mean, they're not going to fit with us. They're going to they're gonna hold us back a little bit. Um, you got one guy doing one in his, his way, and you got the rest of the team that's, that's moving forward and training hard and has got one mindset. You know, it, it may be a, you know, I don't, I don't know, ignorant way of thinking of things, but I just think if he's not going to get on board, that type of kid is not going to get on board, then, then we probably won't use him. Okay, is there going to be, do you foresee a huge fall-off after your Rick Schmelian and your, your two-time All-American yeah. Matt Mullally? Do you see a huge fall-off? I don't see a huge fall-off. I mean, if you look at our recruiting, we, we, we loaded up a lot of lightweights, tough lightweights uh, from around the country in this, this region, actually. Um, so we're going to be good there. And then we got a pretty good 57-pounder coming in. Uh, he's been wrestling quite a bit this year, wrestled you know, some tough guys. He wrestled Scotton to a 3-1 match. Bryce Bustler, he's going to be tough for us. we got another freshman right now, Mike Nacino from New Jersey, that's going to contend at 65. Um, obviously, they're not going to fill the shoes right away with those guys. I mean, Rick and Matt have been stalwarts for us, man. They're tough. Um, but I think the future's good, and I don't think it's going to be a big fall off. I think uh, it's just going to be a rebuilding as far as we're going to have a lot of young guys that are talented. It may not happen the first year, but in the second or third year, those guys are, are going to be rocking. Do you think it's a coincidence that you and Stutzman are about Moley and Schmelian's size that they're still they're that, that, that tough? It helps. You know, it helps. I mean, we're, those are the guys I wrestle with the most. Um, they're right around my weight. I mean, John and I are middleweight guys. We translate well with middleweight guys. You know, and 
it would help if we had a light coach or a big coach. But the way our style is, it's, it's not, it, can, it goes across the board, 25 to heavyweight. It just helps that I'm able to wrestle with those guys the most just because I'm their size. All right, you got anything else for me? No. We got to get over to there. The dual meet's coming here in like 20 minutes. Got to change, man. So, hey, I'll let you get changed. Thanks for the time, Scott, and I will be back in the spring. Sounds good. Thanks, Seth.